our professional partners and my customer here just said but don't you, you got an instagram page i'm like oh no she did it yes i do have an instagram page welcome everybody so you got to make sure you follow me on instagram oh i just feel so old so this is her um her lovely 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 afro hair that i love so much don't forget, check out my podcast at What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon. It's on Spotify. It's also on Apple. Now, nah, I got me a, a podcast, too. Okay? And um, it's also on Stitcher. It's also um, on Apple. So, and it's, it's an anchor podcast. So, check out my podcast where I'm talking about the comb and brush. Combing and brushing your hair. So, um, this is my lovely guest right here. And I'm combing her, her beautiful Afro hair. And so, we are going to be doing the rev air on her. So I'm not into hair mapping. You guys know I can't stand that dang on God awful 4A, 2A. I ain't got time for that. So this is just good old fashioned afro hair. Her hair, her density, she has a lot of fibers, but her hair is actually pretty fine. So what I'm going to do is use their product that's for typing one and two, which fine hair falls into that category. Many people make the mistake and, uh, uh, and you know, confuse Afro hair with being very coarse. But as you can see, just by touching her hair, she has some pretty soft hair. Hey, Shay, can you turn that down for me? So, um, I'm going to be using the Rev Air Wave Goodbye. So, we're going to prep her hair for this service. And you only need just a little bit of cool juice, okay? So, remember, you're going to rub it all around like you're putting on lotion because this is going to ensure that we get the product throughout her hair. So thank you guys so much for checking me out. This is the Rev Air um, Reverse Hair Dryer. So I like to say that this is everything the blow dryer isn't. So there's no burning. Um, it's ambidextrous. So whether you're left-handed or right-handed, you also you don't need a brush to smooth the hair. So what I'm going to do is um, I want to do. It says three by three. So three fingers will pretty much give you three inches. And her hair is shampooed and conditioned, and I use my line of hair care products, okay, the right hair care products. How does your scalp feel? Perfect. She said perfect. She's still kind of feeling some kind of way because I got an Instagram page. I guess when you're over 50, they don't think 50-year-olds have Instagram page. Anybody out there 50 years old, holla, okay? So I'm definitely over 50, okay? So I'm like 53, 54. So uh, 53, 54 year olds, we have Instagram pages too, you know. So here we go. Um, her hair is in these nice sections. Now I have a towel on her. I'm going to take that off after I get this going. So it's three by three, so I'm going to section this. And this apparatus is pretty, pretty cool. And um, I'm just going to hold it up so you can see um, the other unit. This is it. So it has a dial that you can turn the tension on. So I'm gonna put her tension, seven is the highest tension, so I'm gonna put this like on, let's say, um, six. She doesn't need that much of a pull. And so um, here is the actual rev air, here's the unit, part of the other part of the unit. And so I'm gonna turn this baby on. And let's just have some fun with rev air. So you guys can see how this works. So it's really simple. You just put the hair in there and then you get it going. Now you can do this yourself. Um, I like this device for a thousand reasons. And so number one, let's look at our time. So I have my time, it's about 2.08 or 2.10. So typically this would take about, I would say if, she was gonna, if you blood dry your hair at home, how long does it take you to blood dry? She said it takes her about 30 minutes to get this dry at home. So in the hair salon, it would take us about 20 with the regular blow dryer. So we're going to use the Rev Air. Ta -da, look at that. She's right up. So it's going to already be nice and smooth. I'm going to move my car a little bit more. And so it's going to also take out the whole guesswork of how to smooth out your hair. Um, and this is great for people who want to do braids, who want to flat iron it. It's also great for locks, extensions. Now, the only thing that I don't recommend that you use this on is a quick weave. 
because you might pull the glue um, if you don't have your tension right. But if you know what you're doing, then go ahead and use it on your quick weave. Um, but for sure, it's great for locks, it's great for braids, um, it's great for um, hair weaves that like your sewing, your install. So this is great. And as you can see here, now this is just regular lighting, so this is nothing fancy. I didn't put any oil. So when you're using this unit, you don't have to put oil onto the hair. So I'm taking the towel off. And just to show you just how simple and easy this is, I'm just going to keep making these little subsections on her hair, okay? Now, when you're using the red hair, you guys got to make sure that your hair is nice and clean. And so now, if you are one of those people who like to shampoo your hair like every two weeks, then I'm going to tell you right now, if you're going to use the red hair, any um, drying unit on your hair, repeat and lather about four to five, maybe even six times, because the, when the scalp is heavily soiled, uh, two to three shampoos is not going to get your hair clean. So make sure that you are, you know, that you're scrubbing your scalp and you're getting it nice and clean. You can follow me over on Instagram and I have lots of videos on how to get your scalp nice and clean. I also have my book, What They Don't Tell You at the Hair Salon. That book is for sale at airwhitebooks.com. You can also find it on Amazon or you can download it. So the Rev Air, if you right, Rod Ross, that's my homegirl, that's my BFF, representing the A-Town, what's up? All right, so we got A-Town in the house, and she's right, this Rev Air is the truth. You guys see that? So there you have it. It's, it's like she won't have to go and, uh, you know, get a brush and smooth this out. The Rev Air does all that for you. This thing is a game changer, all right? Also, if you follow my blog, uh, what they don't tell you at the hair salon. It also talks about the red hair and my final, <clears throat> my top 10 countdown. So we got the afro over here rocking off. So I'm not quite sure what number this would be in the hair mapping system because uh, I'm not following that. I don't like that, the, the hair typing. The hair mapping, you know, it belongs to Andre Walker. He used to style Oprah's hair. So I tell everybody, if you want to do the hair mapping system, then you should um, buy his product line because he actually invented that. And he doesn't get a lot of credit because people are now jacking people's ideals on these social medias. I'm not a big fan of that either. So here you have it. Um, this is the red air. And we're six minutes into this. So uh, it was 208 when we got started, and now it's 212. So it's making it nice and easy. Now, how does it feel on your scalp? Uh, is it hot? Uh, no burning anywhere. And her hair, I wish you guys could feel her hair because it feels really, really, really good. Her scalp is nice and clean, there's no debris on the scalp. And so, what this is doing is like a vacuum. So it's pulling the hair nice and dry. But don't go home and put a vacuum cleaner on your hair. Please don't do that, okay? So there you have it. And as you can see, she's getting nice. Now one of the things people always ask, does it get the kitchen? Yes. I'm going to show you how this gets the kitchen. So the red air works in the kitchen. For those of you out there in the social media world, you might not be uh, from the hood in the United States, but there are some of us who call the back of the hair the kitchen. So if you know what the kitchen is, you know, give this video a thumbs up, all right? So here you go. And this is how we're going to get the kitchen. You just put the unit on the back, and guess what? It's going to get that kitchen nice and dry and smoothed out. And there you can see it's actually happening. So her curls and coils are getting smoked out. There you have it. So that's how you get the kitchen. And again, um, this is the red hair. It's one of my favorite units. Thanks for the love. Look at how shiny that is, okay? Now I'm gonna, she wants a flat iron service. So I'm going to um, flat iron her hair once I'm done with my little, you know, curl mouth here. Cause I want, you know, my job is all about teaching people how to do their own hair. 
Now, I've made it no big secret that I am not the best hair stylist, but I'm really, really good at teaching people how to do their own hair. And the red hair is one of these things that you can successfully do your hair at home. Now, um, speaking of successful, now in order for me to be successful here as a licensed cosmetologist, um, I need to be educated and I need to have regulation. But in case you didn't know, okay, there is a big push here in Ohio uh, via House Bill 399 and Senate Bills 235 and 245 to pretty much begin the process to deregulate our industry. So what I want you guys to do is to go over to www.protectmyprofession.com and I want you to sign that petition. And so um, and that will help let the politicians and the policy makers know that you want your cosmetologists educated. You have to all these social medias and talk and listen to someone who actually knows what they're talking about uh, as opposed to you know someone who's making this stuff up and the reason why I can do this is because I'm educated. I'm educated beyond my cosmetology training uh, but I also have education from companies like Rev Air, okay? So here you have it and we are now it's 215 so we're making pretty good timing. And this is pretty easy. So I'm gonna have her put her hands up here so you guys can see how you can do this yourself. This is a home unit. So you can buy this at home and you can do this yourself at home. So I'm gonna have you bring your hand up. She's like, come on, because you got your own Instagram page. All right, and if you're not, so just move it around so they can see. You got it? Okay, I'm letting it go. So just move it around up top. There you go. She's like, you see that? Booyah, I'm trying to give it to ya. So this is her first time using it. And she's like, oh, okay, I got this. So it's very, very simple. It does not take all day to dry the hair. So you can just put your fingers down at the scalp and you can feel it. And I promise you guys, this is not hot. Now it can get warm, but it's not hot. You don't see any smoke. So I just came back from um, the Gambia. I was in Africa. Woo woo, let's give it up. And so it's so hot over there. Rashida, tell them how hot it was in Atlanta. She was one of the delegates. So here in Africa, I mean in um, the Gambia. The Gambia in Africa, it was so hot. The Gambia is hotter than Atlanta. But there's some fried fish, some fried chicken, a DC nightclub, and a boiling pot of grits. That's how hot it is in Africa. And so this rev air came into good play because it doesn't blow hot air. It's cooling the air. So there's no hot air to make that temperature be even a little bit hotter. So if you have a salon that gets warm from all your hair dryers and blow dryers, the rev air is gonna keep you nice and cool. We're gonna keep your, uh, your business that nice and cool and then like I said, your, your guest is going to love it. So now we are working our way to the last uh, two sections here. And the product is really, really good. Now when you're combing out the hair, remember start from the base and then work your way up and then detangle. Do not do this, no! Because you're gonna tear your ends. The ends are the oldest part. The regrowth is the strongest. I see a lot of people on YouTube and stuff using those wide tooth combs. Don't do that, boys and girls, okay? We're gonna clip this down. And that product is really light. I'm gonna highlight it again when I turn this off. So we just have two more sections. And we started at, was it 204? Or was it 202? 208, okay, so we're 10 minutes. 208, it's 218. So we are 10 minutes into the game, and this is going down. Rashida, give me some more love. Hit that like button, that heart button, so folks can know that I'm here on Instagram showing everybody how to rock the rev air. Look at that, real simple, nice and easy. There's no pulling on the hairline. It kind of vibrates or stimulates, helps get the blood flow. All of these um, modalities are great for promoting the health of the hair. 
Also, this pulling technology is doing what? It's helping the cuticles lie flat. That's why her hair is nice and shiny in this natural light, and I don't have to put all that grease on there. So a lot of people use heavy products um, on hair, and now you can see um, that she doesn't need it. So this is Afro hair, and this is fine. Her hair texture is fine, meaning it's strength. It's not very strong. So we can't use those real heavy products on her Afro hair because we'll compromise the fro. So when she goes to, you know, wash this, her bush, you know, the fro won't come back. And uh, don't you love your Afro hair? She said, mm -hmm. She said, the don't you I love you, but not be messing up my hair texture. And that's one of the concerns that a lot of people have about texture hair, especially now with the crown neck being passed, so black folks weren't, weren't putting up with that hair discrimination no kind of way. Um, and so um, kudos to the people who helped um, get that legislation introduced that you can no longer get, uh, discriminate against people with texture hair. So here you, you know, you have it. Is the, um, the red hair is going to help respect your actual natural uh, texture because it doesn't really pull it, it's not very aggressive. So you can have that versatility to smooth your hair. So we got started at 208, it is officially 220. So that was about 12 minutes, and here you have it nice and smoothed out here. We're going to go ahead on and flat iron it. I'm just going to use a little teachy, weighty, weighty bit of um, the right oil. And so the base oil in my product is, uh, what do we have? is this grapeseed oil, right, Shan? So this is grapeseed oil. It can withstand up to 450 degrees of heat. Um, and I'm going to flat iron her out. But I did start off with Rev Airs. Now, when you buy this unit, you get a free sample of this. So I'm telling you, the Rev Air is worth every penny. So I used number one and two for Wave Goodbye. So her Afro hair is not nearly as thick and strong as it looked when we got started. That's why it's important that you have your hair um, assessed properly at, upon each visit. Because every time you visit the hair salon, you might have something, you know, different that going on with your hair. So you don't want to be in a salon when they sit down and like, what you want did today? Well, I've got to get up, I want to go back home. So, so always assess your guest hair. And if you're a customer, let your stylist assess your hair so she can know what to do. So for her, we needed to use the one and two because this product is not, I'm going to, pump a little bit out so you can see. It's really, really light. Just put your hair. See how it's